Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're playing some Graves Jungle. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go back getting some dubs and also just in general how to improve both your Graves gameplay and your jungling at the same time. Make the game more enjoyable, stomp some noobs. Game today is looking like it is mid silver MMR based on last season scores, so with that as you will, I think this though should be helpful for most people who are watching this channel. I've run some polls in the past. Silver seems to be a pretty common rank, also low gold seems to be a pretty common rank. So if you're any of those ranks, you should be finding this very useful. Playing Graves into Trundle, I actually know a fair few of my clients ban Trundle as their ban. At the moment I'm banning Nefiri, um, which is a switch up from Belveth, normally my ban is Belveth. But this Nefiri dog champion seems kind of unplayable for Graves. My auto attacks don't hit her, they hit the dogs. It's just absolutely trash. Anyway, so this game we're popping a little bit differently. As you guys will notice, normally I do three camps into bot. But I'm wanting to invade this trundle here on his red. So what we're doing is three camps into top, invade the trundle, hopefully take his life, being chilling mode, and then go back to our bot side camps. Where are you little trundle? Yeah, boy, come. Where's he at? It's taking fucking forever. If he shows bots, I will immediately go into his camp. Hey, it's not flashing. Awesome. We'll quickly take this rev off. We do see the Renekton coming. That's fine. I'm going to be popping it towards mid so that Renekton is not able to take this. Or harass me too much. Time that with the auto attack. We see mid. Ah, beautiful. I guess I would like to have yoinked that with a W, but that'll do. That'll do. So so far this game, quite a nice start to the game. Punishing basically everyone that needs punishing. Probably gonna look for a top lane gank here. My top laner is ahead. Spin on him. Spin and win it. Keep winning it. Beautiful. It wants or what? Excellent for level four there. Renekton chunked. Trundle is bot side. As always, guys, we're always watching at every single moment, pinging out players as soon as we see them, especially enemy jungle. And we're also cycling through our lanes to look for gank opportunities, guys. If you can ever do these things, you always want to try to do it. And if you're not doing it, it's basically unacceptable jungle gameplay. And in all honesty, unacceptable all lane gameplay. You know, you ever watch uh, ProView or anything like this, watch high yellow streamers, they're always looking for these things. And look, high yellow streamers aren't even a great example because they're distracted, they're watching chat, they're reading chat in their lol states. Realistically, the best, um, you know, thing to watch here is ProView. You, if you ever watch ProView, you will always see they're always looking at all their other lanes whenever they have lol states. If you ever have a spare period of time, you want to utilize it for something important. Oh, bad cue there by me. Plane's getting fisted. Excellent. Now, I think that Trundle is here based off where he's been and he's CS. So we'll start pinging that out. And that also means that we know where he's going, which is to here eventually. So we'll start pinging that out. Only chilling. My top laner is at risk of gank, but I will say that I think my top laner is fine because he's about to get level 6, or oh, he is 6 now. Beautiful. And that 6 allows him to basically dive slash 2v1 at this point, in my opinion. As long as he doesn't play like a complete dweeb. Got the Trundle bot lane. And I'm coming in hot for this. I yeah, don't really love the flash there. I'm fucking... What is happening? Oh, it's the fucking pillar, man. Jesus Christ, can't fucking move. I don't really love how my teammates played it, but this is looking great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit of a flash there by the virus. But that in the end. 
All right, what are we doing here, guys? How are we going to utilize this little lead? We're going to wait here for tier one boots. We're going to run straight to our red and then maybe straight to Trundle's red or straight to our red and then maybe straight to Trundle's red. I meant to say blue the first time. Yeah, maybe we don't go straight here, though. It just depends. It's going to take us a little while to get there. Feel how the tempo is. Enemies are going to be back in lanes. Mine are not. Let's observe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna take my red. Oh, what the hell? Get in base, bruh. Please be hitting this. If he's hitting this, he's just dead because he's slowed, brother. I don't even have to ult, brother. I know just lost them the game. By the way. This is why you don't try and do early dragons, guys. Early dragons are a scam. I fucked up there with my Q, but anyway. Don't do early dragons that are trash. No, no, bad. Sit, bad. Don't let your laners mind control you into doing dragons. Don't rush dragons for no reason. Just play the game to get gold and XP. Dragons are a complete noob trap. Trundle just boomed the entire game off that. The game was already hard for him, but now it's just completely over. Unplayable. Top lane is dying. What? Top lane is dying the wrong way. When I said top lane was dying, that was not what I meant. Tough decision, but I do want to invade here instead of looking for that. Oh, he's going again for it? No way, bro. I'm just gonna let him take it. Honestly, my Zareth can probably just go zone him. Completely fine, though. I'm quite happy to let him take that shit. Or trade his whole quadrant plus a herald for a drag every day of the week. And that's if he doesn't get stopped. Because he's doing it piss slow. Look at this shit, I bet you it's on like 2k. Yeah, it's on 2k. They got drag and he died for it again. Game's over for Trundle. He cannot play the game anymore. Guys, I'm telling you. Every single time you read one of those like out of jungle videos and they're just like Make sure you do objectives. Just X out of it. Yes, you need to do objectives. No, you do not need to have a hard on for shitty dragons that mean nothing in terms of winning the game. If you're Trundle, actually, guys, if you're watching, where do you think Trundle can go from here? I want to. I want to understand what you guys are thinking here, because in my opinion, the game is over from Trundle. There is zero opportunities for him. I don't think he can gank any lanes. I don't think he can farm anywhere. I don't think he can invade. I think it is literally just GG. If you guys have a different opinion, would like to hear that down below, especially if you guys are junglers. Ah, oh, can we catch? No, no. Oh, I would have liked to have dove him there. Walk up. It's fine. Um, actually, I wanted to go this this game. Unstoppable. It's completely fine. I'm gonna skip my walls here. Gonna go to my bot side camps probably. Then just go straight bot. I think Trundle is clearing his two bot side camps. He can't show anywhere on the map. It's all fucking five. Maybe level six now. Sorry, just flashed. Gonna go to Trundle's uh, camps here. We could just push that in. There's the Trundle. What is he doing there? Who knows? He's too weak, too slow. And shit is mine. Let's 
to ping my bot lane to be careful. I don't even know I'm here, moving through everything too fast. What the fuck is that? Ah, by the way, I think I could kill him there. I, I guess I needed to move further out of his fucking... the sucky thing, I don't really know. I do not expect to die there to a Aurelian Soul, uh, normally. A little bit weird to me. Regardless, doesn't change the outcome of the game, we just win here. There's nothing I can do to win at this point. It doesn't matter how many kills Aurelian Soul gets. As soon I just one-shot him. Is there a trundle on my red? Did take it. Where could he be? Maybe here? Slows down my snowball a little bit, but... Nothing, uh... Crazy. Really surprised that that guy even goes for that, in all honesty. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I think Trundle's here, by the way. Where he wants to go. I'm gonna move here. It's fine. Really, we don't just allow them to come here, right? What the fuck is this shit? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, nice. Drag. Let's see if Aurelian Soul flies here again, to be honest. Be interesting to see. So close to being able to get that. I'm sad I don't get it. But I wanted to reset with a better timer so that I can go bot. Guys, I need to buy it. Just wait for me. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. One of five, doubled in CS. Back in the day, we'd be up like four and fucking half levels here, but we live in a weird world. Anyway, guys, that's how you win in 15 minutes or less. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. I'll quickly show you guys the damage numbers, things like that. There's a build we got in this game. We would have gone Black Cleaver as our next item though. Just to continue this snowball. Um, boom. 6, 1, and 3. Woohoo. Just finished placements on this account. As I said before, the MMR is about mid-silver. And uh, what do we do? 7k damage, 15 minutes. Pretty nice considering we went Triforce build too, which is a ramping up build. Here's the damage. Basically 1v9. This uh, Nefiri Dog Champion did alright though. Anyway guys, until next time, take care. Good luck on the Rift. Peace out.